Welcome to Sidetracked Expedition News. Up next, a British mountaineer confronts his own mortality in the high ranges of the former Soviet Union. Explorer and storm chaser George Coronas descends down a doorway to hell in northern Turkmenistan. And two Americans have pulled off an impressive Alaskan skiing expedition, backed by our very own Sidetrack magazine. But first, a British climber came within inches of death when his expedition to the high eastern ranges of the former USSR took a drastic turn for the worse. Montaigne-sponsored athletes John Gupta and Nick Valentine were high above Camp 3 on the treacherous peak Pobeda in the Kyrgyz Tian Shan Mountains when Rockfall smashed into John's helmet, knocking him instantly unconscious. Coming round at 6,000 metres, blood pouring out of a reasonably sized hole in his skull, John had to then descend all the way to the valley floor after a number of failed helicopter rescue attempts. All stitched up after a short visit to Bishkek Hospital, John is now safely back in the UK with nothing more but a sore head to show for the ordeal. Despite the expeditions being cut short, the team still managed to come away with the first British ski descent of the country's other 7,000 metre mountain, Peak Lenin. Forty years ago, a vast and fiery pit known as the Door to Hell opened up in the empty desert of northern Turkmenistan. Now, explorer and extreme weather chaser George Coronas has become the first person to descend the flame-filled depths of the 30-meter deep Davaza gas crater on an expedition partly funded by the National Geographic Society. Dressed in a fully fire-retardant aluminium suit, complete with non-meltable Kevlar climbing harness and closed circuit breathing apparatus, George descended to the bottom of the inferno on heat-resistant ropes to collect soil samples. It is hoped that this scorched earth will reveal vital information about whether life can survive in such harsh conditions, both here on Earth and perhaps even elsewhere in the universe. Congratulations, George. Two and a bit years of planning for 17 minutes on the crater floor. But what a 17 minutes they must have been. And lastly, an expedition backed by Sidetracked has come away with the clutch of impressive ski descents on the team's first foray into remote Alaska. Americans Ian Bollinger and Spencer James were awarded the magazine's The Adventure Fund grant for 2014 and used the funding to help mount an expedition to the lesser-known Pika Glacier in Denali National Park. Confronted with less than ideal snow conditions, the team still came away with some impressive ski descents and more importantly, a thorough grounding in what to expect when they come to the range in the future. If you would like to know more about The Adventure Fund or to apply for next year's grant, please visit theadventurefund.com. That's it for the moment. If you'd like to hear more stories of adventure and expeditions, please visit sidetrack.com.